Praise be to Jesus. Today's Gospel and Reflection. The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 6. But I say to you who hear me, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, and pray for those who treat you badly. To the one who strikes you on the cheek, turn the other cheek. From the one who takes your cloak, do not keep back your tunic. Give to the one who asks, and if anyone has taken something from you, do not demand it back. Jesus teaches something very radical and heart rousing. It is different from the way of the world. In today's Gospel, Jesus speaks of almost 16 things to do as a faithful follower who meditates upon the kingdom of God. Jesus prescribes love for enemies as a panacea for all the distresses of this world. He shows us the way to realize the values of freedom and love without which no just society can be built. We are living in a world where there is a rat race for popularity on the basis of wealth, fame and name. Everyone looks for instant satisfaction from the job, friendship, relations, etc. and efforts are being done for achieving it. The life of a Christian should find fulfillment in living as the child of God. He or she must be ready to follow the way of the cross, which is to love one's enemies and do good to others. It is to bless all, praying for all, even those who harm them. It is to offer the other cheek and to give without counting the cost. Jesus is posing a question to us. If you love those who love you, what credit can you expect? Even sinners love those who love them. It is quite easy to retaliate, but it needs utmost patience and deep love of God to forgive. It's quite challenging to show the other cheek when someone strikes. To love without expectations, never to judge and become merciful as the Heavenly Father. God's love is poured upon all irrespective of any difference. It is an, it, it an all-inclusive love. Jesus does not speak from the abstract. His own life example tells us the volumes of his unconditional love through his suffering and death. But with God, all things are possible for us. In this corrupt world, we find that people hate each other on the basis of property, talents, gifts. Lack of understanding and genuine love prevails. Calculations and judgments become a normal feature. At this juncture, the Lord is calling everyone for a transformation to heed to his message. We need to be rooted in the love of God, which is a gift of the Holy Spirit. Courage to stand for the truth and bear witness to the ever-loving call of the Lord will help us to be channels of God's mercy, love, forgiveness and peace in this world and thus we can attain the heavenly bliss. Amen.